guys uh, welcome to the cs tro a python tutorial so in our earlier uh, how tutorials tutorial we have learned that how to draw your uh, radial flux uh, profile of a star or a galaxy and now you will be using uh, this concept uh, to extend further and we will be plotting surface brightness profile so surface brightness profile basically means that you have to transform your flux density into a magnitude a, a, a pixel square or per arc second square and you have to do the same plotting with respect to your uh, radius of the star on that image plane so this is a simple stuff so let's do it so here you can uh, see a sample sample of your uh, radial a uh, surface brightness profile so you can see that here uh, mu p is magnitude uh, for arc second square and on x axis there is a radius so this is a simple surface brightness profile and we have to plot this uh, for our mm, our fusion uh, object so let's do it okay so first of all we need to convert flux density flux density into magnitude okay so in hdss flux is in nano nano mag unit so in order to convert so conversion into magnitude requires so you can type magnitude equal to 22.5 minus np dot log chain and give your flux so we have flux equal to say flux density so here in earlier uh, tutorial we have flux density here so you are using that so you can also watch my earlier videos on that to get a better feel now we have flux density so this will give you magnitude in per pixel square now you want to convert to so convert to arc second okay arc second so for that we have one pixel equal to so we have pixel a scale equal to 0.39 arc second so what to do you can type magnitude magnitude arc second equal to arc is equal to magnitude or maybe yeah so just copy paste it the same formula and divide it by here by because these are like pixel square so you have to divide by 0.39 square okay so now run it so you can see that your magnitude is this and this magnitude arc second will have different values so 20 and this is coming 90 now plot it so now plot surface brightness profile that type command plt dot figure for a new one and then type plt dot 
the scatter give your radius and then in the arc second and then pass your pass your magnitude okay magnitude in arc, arc second per square okay now type plt dot show and also you have seen that our axis goes as a in as a reverse way because magnitude is like inversely proportional to your its number so like uh, low values re represents like a higher magnitude i mean like hi like higher flux so for that type command here so run it so it will go like that you can see that like center is like lowest and then so we have to make it reverse so for that type here plt plt dot gca function dot invert underscore y axis then function now run it so you can see that your profile is looking similar to your a uh, first profile only thing is that it has been like a uh, scaled okay so it has been a uh, scaled so profile is the same except your a uh, the uh, scaling so you can uh, just uh, on paste your your title and y axis level so just do it here so it also be your like surface your surface brightness profile so this will be your Surface brightness and the unit should be magnitude per arc second square and radius unit should be your arc second. Now run it. Here you can see that here your social battery for file in terms of magnitude per arc second square and radius in terms of arc second. So this way you can plot your profile. You can also make it connected. So plt dot plot to look the shape and then just um, give the same command here also. Nothing change. So this will also draw a line and change the color if you want mm, right. color equal to red you can give it so this is used to like extract your surface and brightness profile i mean like how surface i like how each annular is how much brighter it is so you can see that as it goes outward from the center so it falls so it brightness falls as we go from center to out a scot of a galaxy or a star so i hope you got the idea and also if you feel difficulty in like following this tutorial so you can also go back and check like how to draw aperture how to find flux how to do the other stuff so thank you for time being